two, three, four. I'm the 10th of 12 kids, grew up in northern New Mexico. Um, growing up on the ranch, you have to make do with what you have. And so uh, as kids, we invented things. That was just part of what we did. I enjoyed engineering, and so I pursued that in college and in graduate school. But you're always looking for new ideas, right? You're always trying to figure out problems to solve. And uh, for me, the creative process, the design process itself is something that I enjoy. And um, so way back in the early 2000s, 2003 and so forth, um, I picked up a piece of rubber and I held it up and I realized, aha, uh, I wonder if. And so I, I took the piece of, of rubber and I took two guitar picks and I strummed the guitar thinking, gosh, if you were to switch the functionality of one pick striking two strings on a 12 string guitar and making it two pick heads striking one string on a six string guitar, it might be an interesting sound and voila, it actually worked. And so that was the beginning of the process of, of uh, developing the, the Plectone coupler. I've had the opportunity uh, to work with some uh, national labs here in New Mexico. And what I've been looking for is the ability to understand the dynamics of using two picks simultaneously using my product. The idea was, was to use uh, high-speed digital cameras, in this case, phantom cameras, that capture images at 5,000 frames per second, which is pretty amazing. And it literally slows time down. So you can begin to see how each of the picks is moving uh, individually, but also how the whole system works together as it strikes the guitar. I wanted to propose that you could use two picks simultaneously, and how would you do that? Uh, you do that by creating a functioning finger, essentially, between these two picks, and when you hold it up, the interesting part to the design is, is how the, the pivot that's embedded inside the plectone coupler interacts with the soft rubber material on the outside. The hole in the background was essentially put there in, in order to create the right balance around the pivot to reduce the stiffness so that the picks were able to move more freely as you strummed it. The concept of the double pick is fairly intuitive in that uh, the first string strikes a string, let's do it like this, and then it's followed up by uh, the second pick striking, okay, and so as you're strumming, you can hear the double pulse. So the trick is, now I can, I can hear the double pulse when you're, when you're strumming slowly at slow velocities, right? But what happens when you're doing a normal strum? What's happening at those rates? Yep. All right, looks like we got that. One of the neat things about using uh, you know, the high frame rate digital cameras, it allows you to see the dynamics that you've been imagining the whole time. You can talk about the concept, you can talk about the double pulse, and you can even imagine, and, and on first principle, you can imagine how the, this thing behaves. But to actually watch it at 5,000 frames a second is, is pretty astounding. Not least of which is to watch the strings vibrate when the, when the pick hits, and then to see the, the two picks bending by themselves independently and how they react and, and how the timing is changed when the first pick is moving already to the second string, when the second pick is just encountering the, the, the first one. And so it's that idea of, of attaching a visual to something that you've been able to hear uh, and sense on the macro and, and feel by using. The visual thing is a very powerful way to confirm and also communicate the idea that the dynamics are a lot more uh, more interesting than even I imagined. Mm -hmm.